ओम नमो भागवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भागवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भागवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चैवाम नरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास चया मुदीर रीतम श्रीम पागवता नाइन कैंटो फोर्टीन चैप्टर टेक्स थर्टी विद्या विश्रम आज्ञु त्यक्ता सौरीता नवम नवम अभीपंथ्यांशालीता विद्या विश्रम विद्या विश्रम अकेशु तख्त सौरीता अकेशु तख्त सौरीता नवम नवम अभीपंथ्या नवम नवम अभीपंता विधायाब्लिशिंग आलिखा फॉल्स विश्रम फेथफुलनेस आकु अंत दूलिश मैन Yakta Saurita, who have given up the company of well wishers. Navam, nu. Navam, nu. Apipsyantya, desiring. Pumshchalya, women very easily allured by other men. Svayara, independently. Pritaya, professional. Translation and purport by His Divine Grace, Sila Prabhupada Ki Chai. So, Urvasi speaking, huh? Urvasi to Maharaj Puru Rava, great king of the Soma Vamsa. Uh, Women are very easily uh, seduced by men. Therefore, polluted women give up the friendship of a man. Therefore, a polluted woman give up the friendship of a man who is their well-wisher and establish false friendship among fools. Indeed, they seek uh, newer and newer friends, one after another. Purport. Because women are easily seduced, the Manu Samhita enjoys that they should not be given freedom. A woman must always be protected, either by her father, by her husband, or by her elderly son. If women are given freedom to mingle with men like equals, which they now claim uh, to be, they cannot keep the pro property, propriety, propriety. The nature of a woman, as I personally described by Urvasi, is to establish false friendship with uh, someone and then seek new male companions, one after another. 
even if this means giving up the company of a sincere well-wisher. Vidyalika Vishrambam Yageshu Dyakta Sauridaha Navam Navam Abhipsyantya Pumshchalya Svaira Vritaya Women are very easily seduced by men, therefore polluted women giving, uh, give, uh, give up the friendship of a man who is their well-wisher and establish false friendship among fools. Indeed, they seek newer and newer friends, one after another. Omakyatim ranyasi akiranchana salakyam chakchurun militam yena tasma shi gravena maha. Hare Krishna. So these words uh, are spoken by uh, Urvasi. She is actually an uh, Apsara from uh, Svarga Loka or Gandharva Loka, uh, Gandharva Loka, and also in, in uh, Svarga, in the kingdom of Lord Indra, there are many society girls. Pumshchalya, uh, uh, sometimes I translate it as prostitute. prostitute. The society girls uh, who are uh, meant to give uh, pleasure to the kings directly from higher order, uh, higher, not low class prostitute like nowadays. Uh, so they're very highly elevated, they're practically aristocratic. Uh, so they're very pure. Uh, but also they have, like everyone in the material world, from upper planets, Brahma Loka, Indra Loka, Earth, what to speak of Earth planet, what to speak of other regions in this big Brahmanda universe. The, uh, everyone has desire, desire, lusty desire to enjoy. Uh, therefore, we are in this material world uh, because we, are, we, are, we want to be Purusha. Uh, purusha means enjoyer. Not only the man wants to be Purusha, but woman also Purusha. Uh, that's the problem. Uh, both are uh, into enjoyment. Forgetting that there's only one Purusha, one supreme enjoyer, supreme lord, a master and husband and guru uh, and everything, friend, well-wisher, uh, everything. It's actually the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Lord Vishnu or Krishna. Mm. Krishna is considered the best friend in all rasas, in all kinds of relationship. Therefore, he is Madana Mohan. Uh, he's all attractive. Uh, and uh, he can attract even Cupid, Kamadev. In the material world, everyone is uh, hit by the five arrows of Kamadev. Oh, you know, Kamadev has five arrows on his uh, sugarcane uh, bow. He's releasing five arrows, shooting to the eyes, ears, mouth, feelings, like that. So, so he's, he's agitating everyone with these arrows. Makes them mad. Nunam pramata kurutevi karma yadindriya pritaya aprinoti. So, the, so he makes everyone pramata. Therefore, he's also, he's also pramata because he makes everyone mad. So Urvasi, uh, when she heard from Lord Brahma that um, there is this very nice prince from the Soma Vamsa, son of Buddha, son of Moon God, is Buddha. Buddha with one D, not two D, it's not Buddha, Buddha, with one D. And uh, Ila. 
Uh, therefore, he, the son uh, became known as uh, Ayla. Ayla is another name. Purura is Ayla. In the 11th canto, 26th chapter, uh, we can read about Ayla Gita, spoken by Lord Krishna. There's Uddhava Gita. Uh, he speaks to Uddhava, the great soul, about uh, Ayla, uh, that means Pururav, who was great king. He greatly lamented. Uh, he was so much attached to the beauty of Urvasi. Because uh, it was actually Urvasi who chose him, not he, her. As far as Bhagavatam is reporting, uh, Urvasi felt, f felt attracted just by hearing about him. Because that's Vedic. Woman doesn't go directly or very rarely directly to the man uh, asking, please, will you marry me? Uh, that's not, it's not a Vedic standard. So she heard from Brahma, and uh, it's through Brahma and uh, Urvasi felt, heard about description about this powerful man, the best of the kings and men in this world. Uh, who is coming from the Soma Vamsa, great dynasty in this universe of great kings, Vedic kings. Uh. So uh, she thought, oh, this is a, a good try. It's a good object of enjoyment for me. Uh. So she got the permission to go to, uh, to be with Pururava for some time, not for too long, because she is from other world. She is from Svarga, planet. So she is not a human being, ordinary, huh? like Purura. Purura is a human being. So to marry a human being who is a man, marry an Apsara hmm, who is from higher world, who is like an angel, uh, it's, very, it's not a good combination. Will sooner or later be a problem. Even in this material world, they say it, the sages say, uh, if a woman is too beautiful, too much, too much angelic in her appearance, very beautiful and attractive, she becomes enemy. She becomes enemy. <laughs> Therefore, Sila Prabhupada, I remember now, Prabhupada's father, uh, he, uh, and Prabhupada should marry. There were uh, two, two girls were available. Uh, one was a beautiful one, the other one was not so beautiful. Uh, my father, he thought, because he had a big plan for his son, he didn't want him to, to, uh, to learn uh, in university in, in England. Others wanted to send him there, but he will learn some nice profession. Uh, lawyer, because that was very trendy, very fashionable at that time uh, in uh, Calcutta, in where the British resided. Uh, and uh, that was uh, always a program to bring the elite of uh, the cream a la cream from the Bengali youth, you know, to England to teach them. Uh, so that they become uh, nice brainwashed and um, could uh, bring something nice uh, in English culture to India. Uh, but the father, his father, Prabhupada's father, didn't want like that. So he, he thought, no, my son, I don't want to send him to this place, England. He should stay here. Even if he is not so full, even if he is not uh, well educated, he will survive somehow. Uh, and he also had an idea: he should not marry the beautiful girl; he should marry the, the one who is lesser beautiful beauty, uh, because in this way he will not fall too much in love and too much attracted to her. Uh, and easily, when the time comes, he can uh, take sannyas. If you have a beautiful woman uh, and a lovely woman, uh, it's very difficult to give, give, give up uh, to uh, take sannyas. It's 
very, very, very difficult. Yeah. For Shastra also says, if, uh, if you don't have a loving mother in your home and a caring, loving wife, uh, if they are not available in your home, better you leave that place uh, and go to the forest. Uh, don't stay there. But if the woman is very caring, mother's side and wife's side, it's very difficult to give up. So everyone is conquered by the beauty and also emotion and care and love and affection of the, of the, of the wife, woman. Therefore everyone, Prabhupada told, should be married. All women should be married. Every man should be married, especially the woman so that she can uh, have a good husband, trained as a nice brahmachari. He who is a good brahmachari will become a good husband. Prabhupada also used to say. Uh, the training of brahmachari is needed. Therefore everyone was first sent to Gurukula to learn the art of uh, austerity, tapasya, learning, sense control, mind control. Then, later on, when the time will come, when they're ready, uh, uh, they can marry or they can stay always in brahmachari. Two kinds of brahmacharis uh, there are, uh, the Naishtika and the one who will marry. Uh. So, the, the, so the, go, the, the brahmachari school is there, you know, to uh, become trained, to become a good krihasta. That's the normal stage, uh, step by step. Uh. Rarely somebody goes from brahmachari to sannyas. Uh. That's the great souls uh, who are, uh, can do such a step and make a, such a decision. Of course, it is good for them because uh, they already trained in, sen in sense of mind control. So if they, if they, it's easy for them to take sannyas. It's not much different. It's only the symbol is the stick is, is there, <laughs> eh, Maharaj, the danda and, uh, and the vow, of course, when is, is more uh, determined then, eh, because then there is no go back, chewing the chewed, eh, then one has to stay eh, and go the path. Actually, Kata Upanishad, eh, one of the more, most beautiful uh, uh, Upanishads, one of the famous. There's a nice story of uh, how Yamaraj was instructing Nachiketa. Maybe you heard Nachiketa. He <coughs> his father actually sent him to hell. <laughs> because his father, he was a Brahmana, he was a little Kripana. Instead of giving nice cows to the brahmanas as a donation, he gave them stale cows, you know, old and without milk and without calves. So his, his, his son, Nachiketa, asked him, Father, uh, to, whom, to whom you like to give me? Uh, to, uh, next, maybe you also will to give me away. Because if you give the if the cow if, if if you give all cows the brahmanas to whom you will give me your good son, father first ignored and then he uh, three times he repeated. Then father got angry. Brahmanas easily get angry, <laughs> so he uh, told him, "You should go to the Lord to the house of that." to Yamaraj, Yamaloka. So, okay, he was a surrendered son. Father is like Guru, so he accepted that. So he went to Yamaraj and to ya Yamaraj, he was not there for three days. He was not there, so he, t he fasted. No, no eating, no drinking. So, after the third day, Yamaraj comes and he sees, oh, Brahma, Brahmana is in my house here. And he's fasting and not drinking and uh, I'm very sorry. How can I serve you? I can I want to give you a blessing. So I ask, can I have three blessings? 
One of the uh, one of the blessing is uh, he uh, he thought about the welfare of his father. Please make my father peaceful again, so that I, in, when, in case I will go back to him, that he will receive me with open arms. Like like Pralat Maharaj also had his first when he was sitting on the lap of Nisingadev. That was his first um, uh, wish. Please. Uh, make my father peaceful, Shanti, Shanti and that he will lose his uh, envious, enviousness against uh, the Vaishnavas and Vishnu. Yeah. His animosity, he, make him peaceful, Shanti, huh? that he will give up his enviousness, jealousy. Second was, uh, he wanted to have a process how he can atta attain liberation. Huh? Svarga Loka. Svarga Loka in this term means Vaikuntha. So the Dharma Raj or Yamaraj gave him this process uh, and blessings, but when he heard the third blessing, he told, no, so, sorry, ask something else. Uh, can have nice, I give you an, arrange you a nice wife if you like, many cows many opulences, positions somewhere as a ruler in the world, but don't ask me for the third blessing, what is going on in the, in the liberated stage. Because Atma Vidya, the, 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 the knowledge about the soul in the spiritual world, uh, and the Supreme Lord and the devotional service, what is going on there eternally is a secret. It's confidential. And so he test, tested him. Of course, um, Achiketa, he didn't want to have material blessings, so no, I only want to know about that. I want to attain, I, I want to attain that spiritual kingdom, the world of liberation. Please tell me what is going on there. So then the Yamaraj uh, was satisfied and he told him, actually, your, your, your desire is very rare because most of the people, they have desire for prayers. Uh, that what gives immediate pleasure on the tongue or on the skin uh, and so on. They have no interest for uh, shreyas, for the long ultimate pleasure. But actually, the attempt should be made to attain shreyas because the prayers is a, a very short, this little lifetime as a human being. Someone should go for shreyas. So I'm very pleased that you go for shreyas. But I tell you, my dear son, this uh, path uh, to the spiritual kingdom of, of the Lord, who is known as Dharma, Vishnu, right? Mahapurusha in the spiritual world. Uh, he's the supreme goal of life. Uh, to attain that, that realm of the Lord, uh, that, that realm is very uh, troublesome to go. There are many tests. Uh, there are many obstacles on that path. And it is like sharp like a razor's edge little unattentive on that part, you know, immediately you're cut. Uh, so one has to be very focused. And he gave a very nice example of the body, like a chariot. Audible? The body is the chariot, the living entity, the jiva, is the sitting in the chariot. The five horses are the senses. The, the reins of the, to uh, control the horses to go in proper directions are the, is the mind, and the driver is the intelligence, buddhi. Uh, so now when buddhi is not clear, bahushaka, uh, then the five horses go, they will run in all different directions. The, the mind get lo gets loose. Uh, so. Therefore, the buddhi has to be in control. Higher than mind is buddhi. Higher than buddhi, intelligence uh, is the unmanifest. Uh, 
also Mahatattva. Und higher than the Mahatattva is the Paramatma, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. He is the Supreme Controller. And if the intelligence is fixed, focused on that Supreme Controller, then automatically the mind becomes peaceful, sober, dira, and can be focused on the, to attain that goal. Uh, by sense control, mind control, the horses, the senses will not run in different directions. They will also be focused with the mind, uh, working together with the buddhi, with the intelligence to attain the Paramatma, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who is above the transcendental realm. Trans uh, he is above the material world. He is Param, Paramatma. Uh, so to attain that uh, abode, one has to be very focused uh, and lo 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 lose your mind and your intelligence by fixing it on the, on the beauty of the Supreme Lord. Sila Prabhupada so many times he told us, long we are not attracted to the beauty of Radha and Krishna, Krishna Balaram, Shri Sigornitai, uh, and even the pure devotees, uh, although sometimes a pure devotee seems to be old, he's actually never looking old, he's always young and fresh and very alive and very attractive. So it is advised uh, to, to put the attention on the beauty of the Lord, uh, and, and, and his, the devotees, and in this association one can easily control the mind and the senses and remain fixed in uh, devotional service. That is the path where the devotees are going. The path of, uh, of, uh, of Pururava and others, uh, this Karma Kandya. Uh, uh, Karma Kandya means uh, sense gratification, do pious work and uh, have nice family life and sense gratification, do yagya, uh, do it, do, uh, do, uh, get always the blessing to go on like that, life after life. And only after a long, long time, maybe one becomes fortunate, becomes purified, comes to Gyan. Uh, Bahunam Chanmanam in that verse, Krishna says, only after thousands of lifetimes, somebody who is in karma, uh, karma comes ultimately to Gyan, and from Gyan, only very rarely becomes uh, Krishna Bhakta. So Lord Chaitanya advises uh, his devotees by the teachings to Rupa Goswami, uh, Krishna Bhakta Nishkama, Atteva Shanta, Bukti Mukti Siddhi Kami, Sakali Ashanta. We should f follow in the footsteps and associate with the devotees, with the who are Nishkama, who have no material desire, who have no selfishness, no false ego. Don't associate with Sri Sangha, Krishna Bhakta, and Asadu, because this is the path to hell. Actually, uh, Kapila Dev, uh, I uh, have to read it. It's from Dirk Kanto. He makes uh, in the 31st chapter in describing the, I would say, the ways of the conditioned soul and how they, although they attain the human form of life, how they fa fall victim of women and family and sense gratification and gliding down to hell again. So 31st chapter, text 35, uh, uh, Kapila Dev, to his mother Devahuti, he's saying uh, that the infatuation and bondage which acc accrue to, uh, to a man from attachment to any other object is not as complete as that resulting from attachment to a woman or to the fellowship of men who are fond or attached to women. Uh, actually, this is even more worse. To, at to be attached to an unchaste woman is worse uh, and to be attached to those who are attached to such women, that's the worst of all. That's the definite way to hell. 
con uh, Kapiladev continues 36. At the side of his own daughter, even Brahma uh, was bewildered by, by her charm, uh, the charm of his daughter, Vak. That's a problem. It starts with Vak, with the words, sweet words, whispering of the words and flat, flattering and beautiful words of women who can uh, who will not fall victim and fall in this Maya? Uh, even Brahma was running after Vak, his daughter, who was very beautiful, speaking very eloquent, eloquent, eloquently. Uh, uh, so even Brahma became bewildered by her charms and shamelessly ran up to her in the form of a stag, because as a Brahma he could not do it, he took the form of a stag, a male, male uh, deer, huh? it's a stag, huh? so he's running after her, like some Brahmanas who want to have sense gratification with uh, some women, some illicit, they will not do it in the human form, they take a, f a form of an animal. They have these powers, they can change bodies, you know, they have these mystic powers. Yeah? But only for sense gratification. Even Brahmanas, sages, have this tendency. Yeah? Brahma also, the supreme Brahmana, yeah? creator of this universe, the supreme intelligent Kavi. Yeah? And then she, when she took, the, and then she took the of the form of a hint, that means f female animal, huh? and he was running, running after her. Later on he regretted, does nothing happen, he f found out, oh, that's what I'm doing, fool, wake up, and he gave up that body, and that beca became some, ki so some kind of, uh, also manifested in some t twilight, I think, some foggy, situation in the world. Uh. Amongst all kinds of living entities begotten by Brahma, namely men, devatas and animals, none but the sage Narayana is immune to the attraction of Maya in the form of a woman. Uh. Kapila, Vacha. Uh. Then he speaks his famous verse. Palamme pasya mayaya, stri mayaya chayino disham, yakaro tipata krantan, bruvi chimbrena kevalam. Just try to understand the mighty strength of my maya in the shape of a woman who by the mere movement of her eyebrows can keep even the greatest conquerors of the world under her grip. So there's a, this Nara, Nara Narayana Rishi example by Lord Kapiladev is very interesting because uh, Urvasi is a manifestation of Narayana Rishi. How? How is it possible? Eleven Kanto, fourth chapter, one of the Navayogendras. Uh, he narrated the story of different avatars and also of Nara Narayana Rishi. Great ascetic. Uh, that they are in the high in the Himalayas. They have ashram there. They are twins, sons of Murti. So they, they took, take up the path for the well-being, benefit of the whole universe. So it became very powerful. Indra they we got anxious, oh, this sage is so powerful. If he gets too powerful, I have to be scared about my heavenly position. So he sent uh, Kamadev uh, with uh, society girls, with all kinds of uh, Kamadev uh, uh, girls uh, from her group, uh, alluring people with his bow and arrow, famous with the five arrows, and with the springtime, basant, beautiful smells of the flowers and the wind, pleasant wind, uh, 
appearing there in the ashram of uh, Narayana Rishi. And he thought, Kamadev was confident <laughs> with the mission and with the instruction of Indra and with his blessings, everyone became victim of me. Uh, I'm so attractive. Nobody can conquer me in this world. But um, th so this Narayana uh, sage, I will also allure and attract and that he will give up his vows and his determination to perform tapasya. <laughs> so he tried. <laughs> but uh, Narayana, he was just smiling. Uh, he was smiling and he uh, he manifested from his uh, own, own energy a whole group of more beauties uh, than all the beauties Kamadev manifested. So now they all became like glowworms in comparison with the beauties uh, created by or manifested by Narayana Rishi. So <laughs> then they, then they, uh, do, then uh, Narayana, Narayana Rishi understood all oh, the demigods, all oh, these uh, Apsaras and, and uh, Kamadev, they, they become bewildered, they feel uh, completely paralyzed. Normally Kamadev paralyzes everyone by his appearance and makes everyone mad, but now he's, they become mad. They call, actually they became shocked because they thought, oh we are the most beautiful one. But then now there's so, so much more beautiful girls. And now Narayana Rishi says, My dear Kamadev, don't be shocked. Come to consciousness again. I know your mission and who sent you. Please choose one of these girls here that I manifested and you can bring him as a present, as a gift to Indra Dev. <laughs> so, so, they choose Urvasi. Urvasi is actually a manifestation of Narayana Rishi from his internal energy. The most beautiful of all the Apsaras. Uh, uh, very powerful, beautiful, most beautiful girl. So they took, they brought it to Indra as a gift. Greetings from Narayana Rishi from the Himalayas. <laughs> So Indra, Indra Dev became shocked. He became so shocked that he thought, oh, what an offense I made. Uh, and he, with great hesitation, you know, accepted Urvasi in his uh, palace and in his kingdom in, in, in amongst the Apsaras. So she became the one of the leaders, uh, the mo most beautiful. Indra was very much attached to her. And especially this Urvasi now felt some temporary attraction to Pururav. Uh, but then she, she gave him up uh, because of a slight mistake. Uh, so he gave her up and because Indra Dev had, had separation from her. He wanted to have, have her back. So there was some trick. And poor, and poor, poor Rav uh, became the victim. Especially he, uh, the greatest of Kshatriyas, powerful man, most beautiful man in the world at that time. Uh, he became a victim of that. My wife left me. Uh, my life, wife left me. Many times men leave. Uh, but the wife now left because of a slight mistake. Uh, he was a little unattentive uh, and immediately she gave him up. And he became mad because he was so much attached to his wife. He became completely mad, he lost his senses and he could not be pacified. He wanted, he wanted to have her back. But it was not so possible. Uh, so and he was, uh, and uh, one time she revealed and she told Pururav, my dear, don't don't be, be so trustworthy to this woman species. 
because don't you know how how much uh, cruel that can, can be? And this a woman is saying, I'm not saying. Woman vacha, urvasi vacha. They can be very cruel. Uh, uh, they can be very become very uh, yeah very uh, ill ill uh, meanings and easily can reject somebody. Uh, and then she's this is the last verse today from uh, her words. Uh, That uh, where she says, where is it? Women are very easily uh, seduced by men, therefore polluted women give up the friendship of a man who is their well-wisher and establishes false friendship among fools. Indeed, they seek newer and newer friends one after another. So she is speaking about the mentality of women. And this was in Treta Yuga. End of Satya, beginning of Treta. Uh, so there already, uh, so this tendency of woman uh, was uh, seemingly described. What to speak of today in Kali Yuga? Of course, we cannot blame the woman or women in general. Uh, it's man and woman, uh, because the attachment always needs two. Uh, and to become angry and uh, cheating each other, flattering each other needs two. So, actually both are be che cheated and be cheated. In this material world, because we are in this material world, since time immemorial running after this desire of enjoying the senses by karma, uh, lust and greed. And this is the enemy of this world. And as long as we cannot conquer this enemy of lust and greed, we will always be angry, Kroda, we will be in illusion, we will be frustrated, and we will fall in miserable conditions of life, uh, lose completely our intelligence and the, the goal of life and become mad. Uh, mad for... Uh, on lo made, uh, hopelessly lost in this whirlpool of material existence. So therefore, only by, by, uh, by mercy of Guru and Krishna, Guru Krishna Prasad Bhai, but can uh, wake up, come to the senses, uh, and focus our mind and Krishna with great determination and engage in his devotional service. Uh. Only if one is very fortunate, uh, one can uh, uh, receive a taste, uh, the higher taste, we always say the higher taste, param trishva nivartate. Only with the higher taste we can give up lower taste. Uh, as long as we don't receive taste in loving devotional service, in bhakti, pure bhakti, to lotus feet of Radha Krishna under the guidance of Sila Prabhupada and the devotees following Sila Prabhupada and, and um, following Lord Chaitanya Nitananda line. Uh, so, we, and we, we cannot become blessed. Uh, so we have this nice opportunity to become attached to Krishna's lotus feet, accept shelter, Sharanagati, fully in Him, under the guidance of spiritual Master and Vaishnavas, and become attached to Vaishnava. Sila Prabhupada, uh, uh, sorry, say Krishna to Uddhava when he narrated the story of Ayla, Ayla Gita, in the 11th canto, 26th chapter. He described how Ayla was uh, not pacified. Although Urvasi spoke these words about woman nature, he still could not give up the attachment. His, his uh, desire was still there. Uh, therefore, next verse, then it, she agrees, okay, we can meet us one time in a year in Kurukshetra and have some union, and only one time. Uh, but one time, you know, in one year, you know, this is nothing uh, for somebody who is very much attached, you know. 
So ultimately, Pururā was not very satisfied at all, and he was always meditating about Urvasi. But ultimately, in the Ayla Gita, Krishna it describes how, how Ayla started to lament about his own position, about his foolishness, how he became cheated by his uh, own wife, how he became a victim, and how, but actually he didn't blame her, he bl blamed himself that I fool, although I'm Pururav, I'm a great conqueror, I'm very knowledgeable, I have uh, so, so much in my power, but I uh, surrendered to her fully. I had full faith in her. This is my foolishness. And from that uh, enlightenment, short enlightenment he got, he received the mood of detachment, vairagya, and he could ultimately fix himself on the supreme goal uh, and attain that supreme goal, uh, Vishnu Loka, the spiritual world, uh, where there is no coming back. And, and Ud, uh, Krishna to Uddhava, is, he concludes, there is no other way uh, uh, to attain that spiritual world uh, of, and attain auspiciousness than to associate with devotees. The devotees are not different from me. Uh, they are my representatives. So if you are, there is no greater uh, goal in life and, and re riches in life uh, than, to as than the association with devotees. Uh, and the association with the devotees in a favorable way, hearing and chanting and remembering each other about Radha Krishna and about devotional service in practical way, uh, it's the greatest gift. Uh, it's the greatest mercy and, uh, and by uh, appreciating this mercy, one actually has the darshan and the presence of the Lord all the time. Krantaraj Sima Pankatam Ki Chai Hare Krishna Grace Prabhupada. Any question, maybe? Yeah. No comment? You always have good comments. We hear in Bhagavad Gita that you should do balance, you know, not too much sleep, not too much eating, maybe not too much attachment. I mean, isn't there some balance in this process? <laughs> <laughs> so you don't become to the extreme, you know, fanatical sannyasi or something. Wow. <laughs> even even sannyasis they eat nicely. Yeah. Well, so especially, especially yeah, yeah. We we grihasas we sometimes very poor, you know, not so much on the on the on the plate, you know. If you if a sannyasi goes to some place, you know, he gets so many nice uh, offerings, you know. A big plate, you know, so many varieties. So, if you want to eat more, you know, become sannyasi. <laughs> Actually, Krishna Prasadam is very good. It's, it's a medicine, it's, a, it's Krishna himself, uh, but we should not overeat. Uh. Otherwise, uh, we are expanding more our body than the movement. Uh, mission is to expand the movement, not, not just the body and the family, uh, and have nice life like that. So, so prasadam. Prasadam is a secret weapon. Of course, after some time we're getting older, we should not eat so much anymore, naturally, so uh, we eat less. I, I, I guess when you were younger, you ate much more than now, no? See? Huh? Yeah, you are power man, you know. Because uh, who else, uh, who can make such a job, you know, managing such a temple, so many meetings and... Uh, yeah, you have to eat a lot. Because you also, because you also engage it. Body is like a car, you know. If a car only drives a little, it doesn't need much fuel. Uh, but if he is very uh, fast and very, uh, works very much, the car, then he burns more, you know. So therefore, whatever we eat, you burn it by devotional service. You know best how much you need and burn it in devotional service. Then that's perfect. Don't eat less, because if you, I saw devotees will eat less, 
they go on diet, all kinds of diets nowadays, they try this and that and that and that. I don't uh, mention now the different diets, what they're doing. Uh, and they become very convinced and very determined in that. And they lose even weight, you know, but also they lose energy. And they cannot do anything anymore. They just become like dry out vegetables. Uh, no energy anymore. Therefore I say, eat you know, and engage it in Krishna's service and, and Krishna will protect you. Devotee Kapil in his form chanting 16 rounds for many years initiated. But after several years the wife says that you know, I cannot be chased. By my training, past training, I was not trained to be chased in my life, in yeah. school, in college, in yeah. workplace, there was no training of chastity. Mm -hmm. So, although I am chanting and trying to be devoting, I cannot be chased. Uh, the wife says this openly. So, what should the husband do? Should he leave her and uh, go to the forest or join a Iskon temple or become, uh, say, you know, live a peaceful life, just leave the wife or should he just carry on with his unchaste wife? Because you know, there is no option. What should we do? Ah. And there are children also. Ah, no. During the course, and, they got some children. Anyway, Prabhu, this is a very delicate question, and uh, your wife maybe will hear it, and your children. So it's uh, no problem. No problem. You can give the answer. They will become very upset and angry on you, and maybe no. uh, will chase you out. You know, and say, "Okay, you can go. Take sannyas in Vrindavan. You know, let's see how long you will stay there." Maybe you're, ha may like may maybe you're happy in a few months to come back, you know, to our house again. Uh, you please give an honest answer. Uh, huh? Please give a clear answer. What should, should, what should such a person do as per Shastra and as per practical modern life, both ways? This is my answer. Don't be fool, don't, don't be crazy fellow and, and uh, take sannyas uh, or uh, run away from home. Uh, it's your duty. Uh, Especially your Hindu, faithful Hindu, Vaishnava, so you should uh, be very patient. Uh, and exemplary to your wife, and if your wife sees that you are actually not a fanatic, you are a normal person, you are a gentle person, you are happy in yourself and satisfied in yourself. Uh, and she also wants that. And very soon, with the time, she will see uh, these other pleasures what she, what she is seeking, you know. It's not uh, give her inner happiness and satisfaction. And after all, we all uh, want to be satisfied and happy. Because without satisfaction, there's no happy. And without happiness, there's no Krishna consciousness, there's no blessing. So, so you as uh, Vaishnava, uh, or aspiring Vaishnava, let's say, uh, should give an example, try to make progress in devotional service, stay in your home, stay uh, 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 Lord Brahma says, don't leave your home, perform your duty, perform your activities in devotional service, uh, 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 your activities in uh, obligations to your family, Children, because you also have children, yeah, definitely you should not leave. Uh, you should uh, be peaceful and happy and, uh, and make a little compromise also, G give a little satisfaction to your wife. Don't be a fanatic now. Uh, because you are still young, she is young. Uh, don't destroy your family life and then later on you regret. Tike? <laughs> Any other question? Can we stop? Huh? Okay, thank you. Hare Krishna Krantar Simapagatan Ki Chai. Swine Grace Illa Prabhupada Ki.